Malawi, the warm heart of Africa. Wikipedia describes it as a landlocked country and says it is defined by its topography of highlands split by the Great Rift Valley and enormous Lake Malawi. The beauty of Malawi is dazzling, the smiles of the people warm. What one might not see from the smiles and warmth is the abject poverty that most of the people here have. There isn't much you can do if you have less than a dollar a day to live on. However, humanity has ganged up to fight elements that seek to make our life miserable. Powerful tools have been developed, the Sustainable Development Goals for instance, the universal call to action to end poverty, protect the planet and ensure that all people enjoy peace and prosperity. Malawi also relies on the Malawi Growth Development Strategy, MGDS, designed to attain the nation's vision 2020 and generally assist in the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. There are many ways of killing a cat, but cats are clever, so one still needs a strategy. Here now is a recipe for a delicious and successful development plan. For a good dish, you select the healthiest vegetables. In fact, this smells like SDG 3, ensure healthy lives and promote well-being for all at all ages. For a nation to develop, a people with good health is everything. Christian Aid has used the past five years to implement a wide range of health programs with funding from UK Aid, Scottish Government and Global Fund. Maternal newborn and child health is a critical element that should be addressed since it forms the foundations of a healthy nation. Take this project for example, that was funded by UK Aid. It has seen a significant increase in antenatal clinic attendances and a reduction in abortion cases in Karonga. Three health facilities rehabilitated and other tangible results. Health governance should not be overlooked. Through a Scottish government funded project, Christian Aid has implemented a project that has seen a strengthened linkage between community members and service providers. We're talking about health, police, schools, judiciary, and many more. After selecting healthy people, slice all diseases and throw them in the trash. HIV AIDS remains a big threat to development in Malawi. Close to a million people are living with HIV. Therefore, it is essential to aim at improving health outcomes for Malawians, especially women, children, young people and other marginalized groups. Improve demand, access and uptake of maternal newborn and child health services among the vulnerable women and their children. Look at these happy people in Karonga for instance. They are beneficiaries of a project aimed at improving demand for health services. This is Balaga. The health sector here has witnessed an increase in community demand for and participation in accountable, responsive maternal and child health service delivery as a result of yet another important project. Now, after you've cut everything into nice slices, put them in the pot and irrigate them well. And you're well on your way to achieve SDG 13 take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts. Faced with the hazards of climate change, Malawians have learned to rely on irrigation farming and Christian Aid has been with the people all the way, teaching them new farming methods using irrigation. Sustainable energy. We never used to worry about this thing, but now times have changed. Women in Malawi and probably the world over are primary victims of climate change. People in Karonga, Mangochi and Chikwawa are lucky. They are beneficiaries of this project that supports interventions that promote entrepreneurship skills. Christian Aid 
with financial support from the European Union and in partnership with Foundation for Irrigation and Sustainable Development, FISID, and EGOS Relief and Development Program has been implementing this project. This project is addressing issues of energy poverty, financial exclusion, and gender inequality that affect the country's industrialization and economic transformation. Gender inclusion and equality is also very critical. She is one of the members of 40 women groups that have been structured into women-led sustainable energy enterprises comprising 1,008 women in the districts of Karonga, Mangoji and Chikwawa. They are now able to produce and sell quality processed rice, fish, fruits and vegetable products using sustainable energy technologies. Clean and renewable energy is the future of energy generation now. Everyone is making the big shift. The power of renewable energy should never be underestimated. These here are Christian aid offices in Nilongwe. This building is exempted from the electricity problems the rest of Malawi faces. Want to know why? The whole building runs on solar power. So everything you see in this building is powered by solar electricity. We're talking of a massive 12 kilowatts of solar power. It's all clean energy. Malawi needs to reconsider its energy options and make necessary investments to move people from the power grid and get them self-reliant with renewable energy. According to SDG 8, it is important to promote sustained, inclusive and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment and decent work for all. With Malawi heavily relying on agriculture, we all need to invest in inclusive markets which will bring positive and sustainable change to the lives of poor smallholder farmers. Smallholders often lack reliable markets for their crops and face many challenges in producing good quality products and the quantity needed to meet market demands. There is need to heavily invest in this. A practical example of how this can be done is what is happening in this project that is delivering market-led projects focusing on two value chains, rice and pigeon peas. It brings producers working in a particular market together with people who provide services for the market. It also identifies barriers faced by smallholder farmers in getting enough good quality produce to market and support work to increase their resilience to things such as climate change so they can produce more and have a more secure income to support their families. With funding from AccuAid, the RICE project is being implemented directly in Salima and is making more than 1,000 households smile. Down in Machinga, Balaga and Mwanza, 10,000 households are jubilating with a similar pigeon peas project. Now that, my friends, is how you end hunger, achieve food security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. Pigeon peas is a very nutritious crop, drought resistant, but also has the potential of ending the country forex because its biggest market is out of the country. Currently, the crop is grown by individual farmers who are exploited a lot uh, because they cannot serve as a collective group. So the investment that is going to be made through Harvest Appeal will assist Christian Aid to train farmers, one, to work as a group and negotiate better for better prices for the pigeon bees, while at the same time we are linking them directly with the buyers, eliminating the need to go through middlemen. The other component of the program will be to train them to produce the right quality of pigeon peas that will attract buyers. As a result, they'll be able to fetch better prices and meet their social needs such as health, education and nutrition for their households. 
it is important to integrate any program with service delivery. An ambulance here being handed over in Karonga to enhance health service delivery. Remember sustainability? Use local structures to ensure that the project you're implementing lives on way after the end of the project report is written. Involve the chiefs to develop bylaws to strengthen and support your project, for example. Christian Aid believes in creating partnerships for change. It has therefore built strong partnerships with communities, traditional leaders, government, faith leaders, and others. Malawians are resilient and hardworking people. All they need are the enablers to make them move up the economic ladder. There are great programs being implemented in Malawi and the fruits are there for all to see. Social cash transfers helping people build their climatic resilience to climate variability shocks and improve their food and nutrition security. The European Commission has enabled Christian Aid and its partners address existing food and nutrition security challenges amongst the poor households in Malawi. Fisheries integration of society and habitat, improving resource management through the establishment of fish sanctuaries, habitat restoration and reducing use of illegal fishing gear across more than 250,000 hectares. You see, a lot is happening on the ground, and it has been a busy five years with Christian aid empowering poor and marginalized communities and individuals to find practical and sustainable ways out of poverty and to be actively involved in decisions and opportunities that affect them. Going forward, there is need to sustain the efforts on the ground. Going forward, Christian aid will stick to its core principles and be driven by dignity, justice, partnership, and sustainability. They will continue to be motivated by love to care for others and stand alongside those who struggle against poverty and injustice. Christian aid's approach is talking to the community. We're not coming up with solutions. We're talking to the community so that the communities themselves can say, you know, this is the problem we have and these are the solutions that we think would work. So um, from uh, irrigation, what I've seen is that with examples of women like uh, Agnes and Betha that I met, who are now independent economically because of the project that we've been running. And I think what was really encouraging for me was the fact that you know we have actually exited out of that project and people are still self-sustaining. You can play a part in this great journey. As it was sung, we are the world. We are the ones who make a brighter day. So let's start giving. There is a chance we're taking, we're taking our own lives it's true, we'll make a brighter day, just you and me.